What is selling? <coughs> Number two, sell yourself as prostitutes do. <laughs> okay. Integrity, the three T's. What are the three T's? Sorry. <coughs> and then give solution, sell benefits. This is what the professional. In 30 minutes, this wall, I have to talk to you. <coughs> All right. What is selling? Can you some, somebody tell me what is selling quickly? Captain. What is selling? <laughs> yes, anyone? What is selling? Bobo, what is selling? Work in the garden selling to sell something. Okay. <laughs> you go to Pasar Malam, you want this thing, you pay five dollars, you get something. That's <coughs> selling, right? That's also selling. But today we're not talking about the Pasar Malam selling. Are you cool? No? Alright. Selling is finding out and helping one to solve one's problems, one's an objective. This is the main selling. Right? You're helping. No, not selling. Then selling is not telling. Selling is helping you. Okay, this is the most important part you need to know, right? Because most of the salesmen they keep on telling you the advantage, the cheap, and the all this sort of thing, right? So selling is not telling, it is helping prospects to buy. When I sell insurance, why I can sell a lot? Because I told the guy, you're not I'm not selling insurance. I'm here helping you to buy to see what you need, and that's why I give you the solution and the benefits. That's why I need to tell them from the start. So they are relaxed. Because once they know that you are trying to sell something, they are already very protective. Okay? Selling is a transfer of emotion. Now, selling, you tell somebody is another thing, but to transfer your emotion, your feeling to the person is a skill. You need to transfer the emotion as you feel it. Right? People will not remember what you say, but they always remember how you made them feel. This is very common, right? You heard this many times? Yes? Yes. Mm. Yes. Consultative means we talk to each other, we <coughs> consult each other, we sell Now, why I use this a lot? Because the translator in third world countries, if I talk, they may not understand. I have to put this, then he reads and he translates. That's how this is my style in third world countries. Most of the translator, third world countries, they cannot translate very well. So this is what CEO of Motorola says. Since you all can read, I don't have to read. Okay, all right? Number two is selling yourself. Now I got into big trouble in Vietnam because we use a translator. When I finished my speech, about 20 or 30 young girls approached me, confronted me. Why must we be prostitute to sell insurance? I said I never say that. But you said sell yourself, I said I never say that. I said sell yourself is not that what I mean. Then we asked the translator to come and explain. Because in Vietnamese, sell yourself means selling yourself. It's not like the English way of selling yourself. You understand? In Thailand also the same. So please be careful. The translator got to translate the meaning is not the exact word yeah. and I got to trouble with this. I have to prove to them that they are not going to sell their bodies. <laughs> of course, for me it's free, huh? <laughs> okay? Personal branding, which I'm not going to spend a lot of time because Mr. K already talked about in opening. Selling myself number one is a personal branding. Okay, how you dress, are you on time and things like that. Right? Number two is the first impression. The person see you for 30 seconds, he wants to do business with you or not, 30 seconds he makes up some money. And number three, pleasantly acceptable. You must be pleasantly acceptable. The way you dress, the way you speak, the smile, the tone, and everything must be pleasantly acceptable to the party. <coughs> Say yourself, number one, show care and concern. Okay? You cannot just want to go in and just want to start selling. Let's show care and concern. If my prospect calls, huh? straight away I take a call and give this to call me. I'm ready with all this. So show care and concern, make him feel important. Even I sell to the lowest class of people. I don't call them low class, but you know those dishwasher and taxi drivers. Huh? I always make them feel important. Either a millionaire or a layman, they feel the same. Make them feel important. Talk about themselves. Be patient, speak slowly. They have to be patient, speak slowly so that they can understand what you're trying to get at. Right? Be helpful, mindful, earful. Helpful, mindful, earful. I brought an agent to a house. He saw the cat in the house. Oh, this cat so fat, I can die already. <coughs> Straight away, the owner switched off not the sale. <laughs> not going to talk because you heard the owner's feeling about the cat. This, that, that was the panic cat. So he was not mindful. And then be sensitive, positive, and creative. Now, this is a plus point. Sometimes we are not sensitive. We talk about something that hurts them. So be very careful about this, these three areas, right? Sensitive, positive, creative. So, it's a very good LE power of three. Okay. <laughs> in selling, aim for the heart. <coughs> I use a lot of pictures and words because for the translator to easier to translate. So this is my way, totally different from Patricia's way. All right. I'm glad it's different. 
I'm so glad too. <laughs> we always quarrel, okay? Like, uh, lovers quarrel. Uh, lovers quarrel, right? Now, are you animated? Yeah, Don't I'm distracting. Never I'm mind. professional. Never mind, it's okay. <laughs> uh, Nobody complains except no, you. No. It's okay, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. <laughs> not, not related at all to your content. <laughs> My caring dentist. I was at the dentist's office on a Wednesday. She said you must expect one too. My question to her is, I'm speaking on Thursday and Friday. How would this um, extraction, extraction affect, your speech. affect my speech? Will it affect? She said, should not be. I said, okay, then I go, go ahead and do what you want. <coughs> Thursday, I went to speak. Of course, nothing happens, right? But Friday morning, she gave me a call. She really gave me this call that really made my heart <coughs> melt. She asked me, how was your speech yesterday? Wow. I said, everything is fine. Uncle now, man. since whenever you have a doctor or your dentist to call you and ask you how was your health and all that, how, how was your sickness, nobody. She was the first one to say that to me. Immediately I said, everything went fine and from now on, you're going to be my lifetime dentist. <laughs> you all my business. And I'm going to tell all my friends to come to you because you are so caring. That's the way showing care by asking just one question. 30 seconds only, right? Always give even more than what you expect to get. Okay? When people, your client do not expect much, but you give a lot more. You know, when I bring my prospect to the buffet, they don't go and take the food themselves. The first dish I serve them is, you sit here, let me get for you, and I go and get something and I serve them. They were so touched. Nobody does that. There was one interview, my friend was on another table, and I look at him and say, see who close today, whether I sell or you sell. <laughs> By the time I closed the case, he was still struggling. Because I did so much care, bring food, serve, you know, get drinks and all that. The person was so touched with this action, right? They feel so touched. Would, would they say no? <coughs> uh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I must say no. So these they are some of the skills you need to, in your interview, right? Now, engage him in a conversation. That's how it really feel important. Conversation is what you want to ask about him. You want to know about his business, ask him about his business. Kitchen, I can give you a side don't worry. Then, <laughs> you want to know about his family, ask about family. But don't ask him how was the chakrita last time, you know? This is a stupid question. You don't use that type of question. Use professional questions that enhance his image, right? So engage him in conversation. Give questions for him to answer, let him talk. This is asking whether he will mind. Okay, <laughs> why do you need to ask more? Why do you need to ask more and tell less? Okay, but this is because asking questions gives us <coughs> valuable information. We will get a lot of information out by asking questions. Then, stimulate thinking and creativity. When you ask questions, they start to think. And when they start to think, they, be they become creative. Life commitment. This is easy. Life commitment means I will do it. I will buy, I will say yes. Because you make them think, like the restaurant side, you know? <coughs> that one to persuade oneself, he can persuade himself. If you need to persuade somebody to buy your, your stuff or your services, <laughs> you, need, you need not persuade. Because at the end of the day, the prospect will say, can you do something for me? I need it's something nice. like that, right? Okay, this is what you do. Hmm? I get it. Mm. I think you more than miss out on the most this important is question is whether you can afford it. This is not so. That's not important. It's half an hour. I tell you why it's not important. Because selling insurance, people say it's the insurance. hardest thing to sell. You agree? Hardest thing to sell. For me, insurance is the easiest thing to sell. You know why? Because you quote the price, I don't quote. What's your budget? $50 a month, $200 a month. You quote the price, I give you the stuff. That is not something that you buy. $200,000 is $200,000, right? You can't sell, I can't sell it for $100,000. <coughs> So insurance actually is the easiest thing to sell if people do not know that. <laughs> Always the customer gives the budget. I don't fix the budget. So get to say it and then lead to action. So this is the re these are the reasons why you ask a lot of questions in an interview to make the sale worth. Right. The art of listening, the ability to listen is most important. You have seen many, many speakers speak about listening, right? Who speak? The prospect switch, right? Who listen? You listen, right? So, <coughs> to understand what they, they are telling you is important. Listening and hearing is different. Not the difference. Hearing is just one in, one out. 
the listening, you need to understand what the person is trying to tell you. Okay. Constantly listening is not necessarily communicating. What is communication? <coughs> to you earlier, communication? Two way. Two way, right? So if, if this guy keeps on talking and you keep listening, it's not communication. So you need to inject. Right? So listen attentively is the key to understanding. <coughs> the key word here is attentively. When you listen, ask him again, do you mean to say that? Or can you repeat? What do you mean by that? You know, you keep asking questions to check. Then, uh, anyway, this is not by me. Huh? <laughs> not by me. I don't know, maybe one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Integrity, the three T's. Who can tell me what are the three T's? Just try, just try. Just say something that is three. Time? T. Time? Trust. Trust. Truthful? Truthful. Wow. wow. All of you know the answer. Wow. <coughs> Trust. Proof and one more transparency. Yes. Yes. Wow. A lot of people skip this because something's hidden. You don't tell, but you're not lying. If you don't tell, it doesn't mean that you lie. You just do not want to disclose. Just transparency, right? As uh, I learned this from Mr. K, do they believe what you say? Do they act on your advice? So this is exactly what we want the customer to know. I'm going quite fast, isn't it? Am I going quite fast? Because I don't want to exit the 30 seconds. Very trust nice. is the rule of life. Everybody knows that. Anything without trust is gone. No relationship is gone. That's why I lose so many girlfriends because I don't trust them. They don't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I lose many, many girlfriends. They subscribe, they don't trust me, it's gone. Except Oops. Patricia. Oh, yes. She's the next one to go. What did they say? They are saying Patricia Tan, not you. <laughs> Lucky we do your surname. Alright, foundational principle of all relationships. Then say what you mean and mean. Always, always, always tell the truth. Now, uh, I designed this and I, did, I put the radio here. Alright? Now, what is she going to do with she's that? She's distracting you. Let me tell you something. She's this one's so old, cannot distract anybody. <laughs> it will distract no. because it's moving. Okay. Ah, it's okay, I love it. In third world countries, you must have a lot of this to get the interest of the people looking at the slides. Only for third okay. world countries. Yeah, third world countries. I thought the petition said there's no one. No but my star is that. My star is in third world countries. And I don't like to speak in Singapore because everything you speak, they said you have to put in. Somebody can sue you and all this stuff. I don't I hate it, you know. <laughs> I took an article from a newspaper, straight time, and put it on my slides. My boss asked me, Do you get the permission of this guy? I said, No, but it's a newspaper. He said, No, you can be sued. How can we so? I take from the newspaper. So they are too careful about all this sort of things. No wonder right, it's for third world. Malaysia is good. You know why Malaysia is good? Because Malaysia is bully, right? Eh? Bully. Ah, yeah. Best yeah. 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 Even the government sitting in front of me, I tell him a sex joke. Ha ha ha, you laugh. Singapore, shh, 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 But they go home and laugh. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Alright. Always, always tell the truth. If you don't know something, say, I don't know, let me check for you. This is the safest way. Sometimes they ask me something, I don't know what they are trying to what, uh, ask me. So I said, let me check for you. So I must get the truth for them. Instead of I give him that one answer to cover up that, that part of it. Alright? Mm. <coughs> transparency, if you honestly, <coughs> this is what you see, I put all this so that the transparency can be. Left no stone unturned. You everything lay on the table, let them decide. This is all. Good, bad argument is all there. Any questions? Any salesman here? <coughs> Selling Bobo? How, how do you act on in a transparent manner? <coughs> like, okay, your Bobo maybe run on 15 miles per gallon or 10 miles per gallon, but you do not just say, do not mention about how many miles per gallon, just keep quiet about it. The guy forgot to ask, right? But you know it <coughs> consumes a lot of petrol. Right? So, but you do not want to tell it. I don't hang a lie, just not, not transparent about it. So sometimes if the consumption is very high, you have to tell them this is like 12 miles per gallon only. <coughs> you tell them. Yes sir? Let me say something. This is a tricky thing, the consumption of a car or whatever no. you are saying. Mm -hmm. Tricky because the consumption of the car depends also on your style of the <coughs> your dry styling and many other parameters you cannot <coughs> control. Yeah. So it's better not to say anything. <laughs> you know, there is something you can sell or not. Sell. 
<laughs> yeah, but I, I tell them according to the standard specs, uh, right? But I do, and this is just, just an example. Yeah. With an example only. This one we call transparency. All right. Ultimately, all bonds in marriage, in relationship, in friendship, everything is about the trust, trust, truth, and truth. And truth. And truth. And truth. Okay. You like one of these, finish. You don't have to be a professional salesperson. Money. <coughs> Any more questions? Hmm? Number four is gives solutions and benefits. Now, most people, when they sell, they give a lot of solutions. <coughs> but they do not translate the solution into benefits. How do you do that? Solution is the ingredient okay, to solve the problem. <coughs> to do this, these are the things you do, you say, to solve. But the if benefit is what, what, what actually gets you. I'll give you an example. One solution. Okay? After talking to me everything, five five million life insurance, that's a solution to solve your problem. But that will not bite. I tell you that will definitely not bite. So you transfer this, how you translate this into a benefit? Try? You'll get five million dollars of life insurance coverage. But that's a solution. Five five million five million coverage, right? That's a solution. How do you translate this into a benefit? A peace of mind. You have peace of mind for the next ten years. Very <coughs> good. Some more? Very good. Cover your children and your grandchildren for X number of years. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Your widow yeah. will be very years. happy when you are <laughs> <laughs> <We'll be married laughs> next week. <laughs> the benefit to get married the video. Your wife will kill you. Huh? Yeah. Only after you buy the insurance. <laughs> She's not a beneficiary. So now we don't ah, ah, <laughs> Beneficiary's estate, then you make a bill, she's not in there. <laughs> you give me for what? Alright? Let me give you the benefits. How you translate this, right? Okay. Now in the event of death, all your loans will be fully paid. That's a benefit. Okay? Children will have enough funds for living expenses, education, holiday, so forth. This is another benefit. Wife can stay at home to look after the children. Yeah. This, this wow. is all the benefits. So instead of telling them, you pay $5 million, translate that, so the benefit, this will be the strong point of selling. Because kill he only wants to know how all my problems can be dealt, all my financial problems. You know what I mean? This is the most important selling point, which many, many um, salespeople will forget. Okay, now, in case you miss this, it's another way of saying in conclusion, in summary. Conclusion and summary is too common already. Everybody uses that. So I use this one in case you miss it, and then I go on to my summary. Number one is what is selling? We talk about that. What is selling? What is selling? It's not really asking for signals. Are you listening? Are you listening? Selling is selling. Hmm? Selling yeah. is. Identifying the need of the person. Okay. Helping Providing someone solve the problem. Solve the problem. What is that? Solving the problem. Right? Solve the problem. Solve the problem. Solve the problem. Right? Solve the problem. <laughs> this is what you do. Number two, you sell yourself. You know how to sell yourself? Oh, yes. Yeah, show okay. care. Show care, concern. Okay. 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 Number three, integrity. <laughs> what are the three things? Truth, trust, and trust. Learn very fast. Too good. Yeah, good student. Give solution, self benefits. Yes. Right. yes. Now, the thing is, if you cannot remember everything I say, you just have to remember this slide. This slide sums up everything that I'm talking about tonight. You know, no? Yes. yes. Number one, what is it? Number one? Right. 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 A professional salesperson, number one, must be <coughs> credible. What is credible? Everybody knows what is credible. Trustworthy. Believable. 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 Trustworthy, right? Verifiable. Very right? Number two, proficient. What is proficient? Good at what you do. Skillful. Good at what you Skillful. do. Skillful. Yeah, that's what you do. Okay, number three. Wow. 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 Wow.
Yes. Okay, good. Any questions now? I'd like to ask.